Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike and in today's video we'll talk about the latest announcement from DJI which came last night. Now, first of all, I was awake until 3 a.m. in the morning because the event was at 5 p.m. in Los Angeles. So that was 3 a.m. in um, my time where I'm located. So it was a huge bummer when I noticed that DJI will not stream uh, the event uh, live. They decided instead that they will uh, live tweet. That was a huge bummer for me. Uh, so I couldn't really follow the whole event. But of course I um, caught up with all the information and I'm ready to give it to you. So without any further ado, let's see what they unveiled. So it doesn't really come as a huge surprise to say that last night DJI announced the Zenmuse X7 camera. It's a professional filmmaker camera uh, which is made for the Inspire 2. I say it's not a big surprise as we kind of had a, a couple of leaks uh, a few days ago uh, before the event. So we kind of knew uh, what we can expect from the event but I was hoping that we might get uh, something extra like a new Osmo 2 or a new improved uh, drone. Why not? Uh, as they're spitting out drones <laughs> faster than you can imagine. So why not um, add a new one? I was thinking that we might see something uh, new, but unfortunately we'll have to wait a bit more for that to happen. But anyway, the Zenmuse X7 uh, camera is now here and here's everything you need to know about it. So first off, what you need to know is that DJI has just announced the first ever 6K 30 frames per second aerial compact camera for the Inspire 2 and it fulfills many filmmakers dreams as it's much smaller than before. The Zenmuse X7 is made for the Inspire 2 but DJI mentioned that in the future it's supposed to be compatible with other DJI drones and platforms so we might see something new coming up available for this camera. One of the major highlights of the new camera is its cinematic 35mm sensor which provides up to 14 stops dynamic range, offering the editor tons of possibilities in post-production. The camera records raw footage in 6K at up to 30 frames per second, but of course you can choose uh, whatever format suits your, uh, your needs and you can choose between a couple of different uh, frames per second. The photo specs sound very promising as well as the Zenmuse X7 has a resolution of 24 megapixels so you, you can definitely play around with the details of your still shots. A feature that I really like about this camera and something that would be very useful for the filmmakers out there is the EI mode which helps you match uh, the footage of the Zenmuse X7 with your other cameras. So if you're shooting with a ground camera and then you switch to your Zenmuse X7 uh, it will be easier to match those two types of footage together. The camera alone weighs just under 450 grams and gives you a total flight time on the Inspire 2 of 23 minutes. The Zenmuse X7 currently supports four prime lenses, 16, 24, 35 and 50 millimeters. Each of the lenses is made with carbon fiber and weighs approximately 180 grams. Now if you wonder what's that going to cost it's going to be a lot. The X7 camera itself costs $26.99 and the 16, 24 and 35 millimeter lenses all cost $12.99 separately but the 50 millimeter lens costs $11.99 so all four lenses can be purchased as a bundle for $42.99 which saves you uh, roughly $800 if the lenses are purchased separately. Now, of course, the Zenmuse X7 is not made for regular consumers like me and you. Instead, it's made for filmmakers who are looking for a compact all-rounder drone to shoot aerial shots with. And I personally think that the Zenmuse X7 is a huge milestone in the aerial industry as it provides a huge, huge upgrade of the quality of the shots. Uh, of course, it comes with the price but it will bring a new um, era in the filmmaking, I suppose. And I can't wait to see what other people will produce with this uh, camera. Uh, please let me know what you think about this camera as um, I really find it very, very interesting. And I want to discuss with you guys what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.
Ciao.